I wanted to talk about self-acceptance in this video. Uh, this was actually a question or a topic that one of my viewers asked for me to talk about. And I think it's a good, a very good topic because so many of you don't really accept yourself. Am I right? You tend to find all the things that are wrong with you and you tend to focus on those things. And then those negative thoughts. I've talked about the negative thought cycle or the inner critic where you tend to focus, hyper-focus, some of you are hyper-focusing on the aspects of your life that you don't like. And you focus on it so much that it gets you down and you start to convince yourself that there is indeed something wrong with you. And so I wanted to talk about this topic and I hope you'll stick to the end because I want to give you some really good uh, steps, three steps to help with your self acceptance of who you are. Now I know there's a lot of talk about people who are self-inflating narcissistic, hey, look at me, or I'm better than everybody else. But what is not really getting talked about is the opposite end of that spectrum. Some people are very uh, self-absorbed in, in, in who they are. They have this inflated idea that everybody likes them. But then there's some people, a lot of people on the other side of that spectrum where it's nobody likes me. And I'm wondering if you're closer to the that end of that self-inflating spectrum, if you will, and you start to think, or maybe you have thought, what's wrong with me? There is something wrong with me. I don't like who I am. I need to change something about me in order for someone to like me. Does that describe you? So I would love for you to just to make a comment in the comment section below, I would love to hear from you. What are some of your struggles with your self acceptance? Okay. So now what I want to do, I want to give you some very practical things that you can do three steps to help with your self acceptance. So number one, number one is important. And that is don't believe others. Don't look at someone else. Don't look to, to other people around you and think, well, they, they have it together. There's something about them. I want what they have. Okay, so when you start thinking that way, you're thinking that there is something wrong with you. And if you just had that, whatever that is in the other person, your life would be better. So don't, you got to stop thinking that way. You got to start thinking and, and, and get in the practice of uh, in your mind or maybe verbally out loud to somebody that you admire or like about them, you can say, hey, I really like this about you. Or you can think it, wow, you know, my friend that he has so many other friends, that's good for him. So you're, 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 you're looking at the qualities in that other person or people and you're spinning it, not, not well, spinning is probably a negative uh, term, but you're turning it around, reframing. That's what I wanted to say, reframing your mind of, I wish I had what they had to, you know what? It's great that they have that. So it's a positive reframing rather than a negative. So number one, stop looking at other people and wanting them or what they have to be in your life because you're different. You're completely different. Your situation is different and that's okay. Number two, number two, this is something that's very practical. If you struggle with your self-acceptance, I want you to do this every day. So what I want you to do is to remind yourself that you matter. So get a post-it note, get a post-it note and say, I matter. I matter. Put this on the, on your bathroom mirror. Write it on your screensaver. Everywhere you go, you've got to remind yourself that you matter. You do. You matter. Don't forget that. It's when you forget 
that you matter is when you start thinking, I don't matter. And that's wrong, faulty thinking. So number two, I want you to start reminding yourself that you matter just as you are. Your faults and all. We, and by the way, we all have faults. We all have negative things about ourselves. You know what? That's what makes us human. So whether it's what you look like or what you do or where you live or whatever, whatever thing that you don't like about yourself, it's about being human and you're a human being. So you have to figure out, okay, how do I accept myself for that? There are things about me that I cannot change. Therefore, I have to remind myself that it's okay and I matter. And then number three, number three, uh, after you, you stop looking at other people and wish you had something that they had, and two, as you remind yourself that you matter, and now three is, what are things in your life that you can change? We all need to grow. And as you get older and life becomes different, we tend to evolve in a lot of ways. And so there are things that you want to improve. Great. Is it, is it your weight? Maybe you're overweight. Well, what can you do about that? Is that something that you can do? Are you, um, do you want to learn a new language? Is that something that you can do? So you, you have to maybe sit down and write a list, maybe the top three things about your life that you can change, that's possible to change that you don't like. Write down one, two, and three, and then start doing it. So it, let's say it is, maybe you are overweight, and that is something that you feel like you can change. What about that? Okay, so maybe you need to start daily exercising. Maybe you need to go exercise every single day. Maybe you need to look at what you eat and how much you eat. So figure out what are the top three things in your life that you can change and work on it. Now, again, going right back to step one, don't look at other people's success and therefore look at you, compare their success to you, and then you're gonna think, oh, I can't do that. I can't get a six pack of abs or I can't do that many push-ups. So stop looking at other people and look at very specifically things that you can accomplish, things that are within your power to work on. So it, it kind of goes both ways. You have to accept who you are, but then there's also things that you may not want to accept, like your health. Figure out what you can change and do it. So that's my, my uh, help for you. I hope this is a, an encouragement. I want you to start thinking better about yourself, more positive. And I would really, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, I'm really trying to build my channel on, and I need to, <laughs> I need to get some more subscribers. <laughs> uh, so it's a, it's a shameless plug, but I, that's true. Uh, so if you're watching this or if you've been watching me for a while, uh, look down on your right hand corner and there's a subscribe button right there on your screen. Hit that, subscribe to my channel, and I'd really appreciate any comments that you would have for me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.